Welcome to Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. Bentleys, boats, high-end restaurants, and malls till you're blue in the face. In the middle of it all is my salon, Edmund James. In a mere 18 months, my partner Kevin and I have made this the salon to go to. Maybe my New York swagger is shining through, but hey, after 20 years in this business from New York, I like to think I know a thing or two about being a hair boss. In many ways, our salon is about family, literally and figuratively. Everyone's been together for a long time, so it's more family. Two gorgeous, hunky Italian guys, perfect. It's like having 25 brothers and sisters. You love your brothers and sisters to death, but sometimes they get on your nerves and you say things you don't mean. Don't make fucking statistics up that you can't back up with actual facts. That, that's my old man, Vincenzo. He runs the barbershop. He is old school to the nth degree from the old country and thinks everyone else is too. He takes pride in the success of his fellow Italian Americans, Brando, Stallone, and other notable Italian Americans that adorn the wall of the barbershop. Our families have all become accustomed to everyone else's families. And that, that's my brother-in-law, Ryan. He is married to my sister. And no, he's not Italian. My dad, let's see how I should say this, breaks Ryan's balls, or as I say, his colleagues, making sure he is on time and maintains a solid work ethic. New generation, come and go in any time they like it. <laughs> no, I had to tell them to take, take it down a notch. That's Megan. She works at the front desk, making sure schedules are kept, appointments are made. If things continue as planned, she'll be my sister-in-law in a few years. She is dating this guy, my brother, Mike. He's one of our assistants. Is all that there for a reason? Yeah, just did this lady. I'm okay. Move it. Hey, how are you? Good. Since Kevin and I are active stylists and owners, we needed to hire someone to be our quarterback, and that's Cynthia. I do believe that Cynthia and that desk are the, that, that is the hardest job that there is in the salon. Cynthia's a tough, business savvy Jersey girl in her early 50s. As GM of the salon with more than 30 years of experience, she keeps the biz flowing. Hi, how are you? Can you get behind the desk over here, please? How can I help you? Jill, your name? Christian, I'll let her know you're here, Christian. Smoothing over demanding custom issues, personality conflicts, and generally making sure all things are running smooth. At the end of each business day, Kevin, Cynthia, and me have a sort of state of the union. What happened today? I think there was a problem with Jessica. Jessica was late. Cynthia suggested that Tiffany then do the client's hair. So the client moves over to Tiffany's station. Then all of a sudden, Jessica walks in. Tiffany lost out on a client, and Jessica gets rewarded for doing, for walking in late. I don't, I don't know. I think it's time maybe that we send her back home for a couple days. At the heart of the salon are our stylists. We have a rather unique and diverse group of talent who range from 25 to 50. Some people I've known from New York and some I've worked with here in Florida. Aaron, for example, one of a kind. I met my partner about six years ago um, at a other salon I used to work at. We were introduced through a fellow stylist that I worked with and I was um, competing for the Mr. Gay Florida pageant and he was the current Mr. Gay Florida title holder. I'm much more the high maintenance. I'm definitely the more energetic of the two of us, that's for sure. It's not uh, a secret that, you know, when we go out, we're not embarrassed to take our shirts off. Brittany is a single girl. Everyone, including her mother, tried setting her up. My mom and I live together and we work out together and we do everything together. Um, I tried to separate and move to New York for seven years and I made my way right back. And now I got a job so that I can be with her every day. Rachel, who has been engaged way too many times. I mean, I was in a relationship for five years with someone, you know, and I just ended it. I definitely want to be married with kids, but to the right person. There's nothing wrong with being single. And then there's Carl. He's from Great Britain. That guy's obsessed with his pit bulls and has trouble managing his seemingly diverse group of women that he courts. How can you not love the ladies? But, um, I've always had commitment issues. I had been, you know, just happy hours and golfing and dating, and I pretty much stopped all of that and just was trying to be a good uh, daddy doggy or doggy daddy. Then there's Vincent, our educator. He's the most experienced stylist in the salon. He holds weekly classes training the assistants on how to cut hair. Uh, 
She's going to be our model for the evening. And uh, Pat is looking for something, uh, maybe it has a little more movement or whatever, and uh, she doesn't like her hair too short, so I wanted to hear what you have to say about it and uh, what your consultation would, would be. All right. Seems like they have it made, right? Think again. Our demanding clientele keeps the stylists on their toes. Think they have thick skin? Think again. Oh, you're doing it wrong. No, wrong brush. This is wrong. That's wrong. Would I like to um, smash a couple people and kill them? Yes, of course I would. Hey, that's why they paid top dollar. All right, your total is going to be 300 for today. Inside the salon, it's loose, but all business. Step outside the door, that's where the fun and drama begins. We have so much history together. With that comes you know a lot about the person. So sometimes, you know, you know a lot about that person, you might know a little bit too much. Why are you outing everybody? Oh my God, she so outs you everybody. You are the worst person for outing somebody, yet you're the first to be like, oh, why is everyone picking on me? I'm you know so what? delicate and angelic. I am. You are vicious. vicious. You are vicious. You go for the jugular and you're vindictive. Oh, okay, Aaron, who has these jabs all the fucking time. You jab everyone. You're Just also a hypochondriac. <laughs> Unfortunately, some people can't control themselves or know when to say when. A lot of it's obviously joking around, but some of it could be hurtful, the things he says, too. Well, I know you're used to having shit in your mouth, but don't keep my name in it. <laughs> he thinks I'm like the serial dater and that I date all these guys, but I really don't. If I'm dating now, I'm a whore? I don't, nobody no, called you a whore! No. You guys are all employed! I didn't say you fucking sit over hey, there on the bleachers and let one after the other gang you. Me. A lot of times, people get sexy, twisted, with slutty. Baby, you are so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> what happened last night? Tequila happened last night. No, I'm, I'm having flashbacks still. With few exceptions, this group does more than just work together. They party hard. Believe me, I know, because I don't just stand by and watch. What I do remember is um, us sitting here and having a great time until Aaron kind of called me an old hag. They know each other's lives and quirks so well. We keep each other in check. You know what the problem is with Rachel is? She doesn't know the play on words. You know what I mean? Like I was talking about my dental I'm sorry. And I said, if you were my best friend, I would expect you to say, Oh yeah, yeah you, you know, yeah, you need, you know, your dental But I'm not your best friend. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> I tell it how it is. Pretty crazy, huh? 41 people who are like family, even though most of them aren't. That's the life of a stylist and a hair boss in Palm Beach Gardens. Capiche?